How should, <clears throat> how should the president be elected in an emergent society? First I was thinking, man, you know what? It really doesn't matter who the president is. <clears throat> any dude can do it. If he has the right information, any human that's, that knows how to think, any human that knows personal science can be the president. If you're really good at personal science, you'll be a really good president. If you're just pretty good, you'll be an okay president. That's what it comes down to. All right. If you're good at analyzing situations around you and making strategies, high-level strategies, and convincing other people to do things for you without telling them what to do, then you'll be a good president. Because right? you need to convince an entire country to do something for you, with you, not for you, with you, right? For free. Because it's good for them and you, right? So you can pick any guy to do that, theoretically, right? But that wouldn't be that efficient because it would take a lot of time for the average Joe to get up to speed, not necessarily on presidential matters, who cares? There's enough advisors for that, but on sense-making matters, right? Making sense of the stuff. So if you're not a very good personal scientist, you're gonna struggle, you know, m effect, making effective decisions in this position because these are very high impact decisions, right? So, but the, with the sense, what it should do is that we use the second brain. We analyze people's skills and their own sense-making abilities in daily life, and then we um, essentially go through a process of of sense-making itself in the in the nomination process, right? So it's a human computation crowdsource nomination process. I like this guy. Well, he does this. Well, if he does this more, then he can do this. Is this that? Is that blah blah blah? And then you give people feedback and suggestions, and engage their interests in different vocations, right? Hey, hey Tom, would you you'd be interested? We think you'd be really good for this county county commissioner position. You're very creative. You you like to organize people and do these community events. Would you be interested here? He's like, eh, I don't know, I'm kind of busy. You know, and they're like, all right, well, that's fine. Whatever. So there's this nomination process, you know, and then and then it's all emergent like that. Um, anybody can literally try to run for president, but that's a building process, right? It's more, it's easier for other people, a bunch of other people to dig a hole and then convince one guy to jump into that hole. So they build up his ego really high and they say, this guy's the best because they know he's the best. And they build up his ego, build up his ego, then show him that there's a really easy problem. They have a pretty almost good solution, but they need someone with his leadership skills and sense-making abilities to really make it happen. And they push him on in that hole and he just falls down and does so much work for the next like five years that he doesn't even know what hit him, right? And then he comes out the other side of that hole, a whole wise person, like one of the sages of the ages, <laughs> and he retires, right? He's like, I'm done. I'm getting off this ride, you know, I'm getting off this eternal engine, man. Next, next poor soul can jump into this hole. It's like a reverse lottery. <laughs> it's like society offers up the most intelligent person for sacrifice. <laughs> Human sacrifice go into this vortex, this abyss of government and work all day and all night in order to keep us all safe and happy because you'll be so happy that you're providing safety and comfort to all these people. It's going to be so fulfilling. You're going to be driven so fast on this engine. After five years, you're going to be filled with so many harmonic frequencies that you're basically going to be floating on water, right? So we can't, uh, then these people get all zenned out and then just like start making real weird decisions that we can't even understand. And yeah, they help our society, but we can't relate to them. So we got to kick those guys out. Sorry, guy, you're too zenned out, man. You got to move on. Go, be, go to the rest of the presidential retreat over here. All these other guys just meditating all day, being super happy. Those are actually the eternal gener gen, you know, generator engine for our society. That's where all those most blissful, orgasmic hand-holding sessions happen. Right? Um, yeah, so that's how the president should probably be selected, I suppose. There's probably an, there should probably be an orgy in there somewhere, too. Or several. I don't know. Maybe it's all just based on orgies. It's like an orgy competition. Science orgy competition. Like the Magic Beat game. I knew there was going to be something like the Magic Beat game. How sexy can you make your orgasm? Interesting. Can you make somebody almost come with your scientific description of reality so close that just while they're listening to you not, you're not even talking about sex, you're just talking about the ideas and you're talking about them so sexually because these are the only analogies that you can use to describe these ideas of reciprocal feedback, that's sex that's coupling so maybe the uh, president is two things. He's the best personal scientist alive, right? But he's the best personal scientist because he's the funniest, sexiest scientist, right? He knows how to tell the theories in the funniest way and the sexiest way to appeal to the broadest audience. Funniest, simple, simple, funny, sexy. Interesting. Those are the three hooks. Simple, funny, sexy. Ah, I love creativity and wisdom.
sexy, love, that's a motivation. Mm, I feel that harmony, I feel that true universal itch. Sexy, that's the way, ooh, yeah, yeah, the allure, love, sex. And then simplicity, that's the direction. Actually, we want to explain it in the, all of its simplistic roots. We want to be able to connect it to our knowledge. So, damn, those are the three hooks. Simplicity, sexiness, and cleverness. Funny. You want to be funny because you want to relate to these people. You, know, you don't want them to be bored. You want them to be entertained. Look at that. We just discovered another triad. That's cool. Another layers of emergence. Different levels. They all have different meanings. That's awesome. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job for you.